Hello and welcome to gfxtoday.com Today I'm gonna talk about the IES lights These lights here on IES So how can we do it? We do it and how can we make this nice lighting here and there and this is all So this is gonna be a lot of fun so be sure to stay with me My name is Apanov and this is gfxtoday.com Now, this file called final underscore IES, so I'm gonna open another one called start underscore this is start, okay? And this one doesn't have these all IES lights, so I'm gonna start working on them and show you how we do this. So basically, this is what we have in our start 3D Max file see so here it is without any IES lights just with these V-ray lights here and there so let's get started first I'm gonna go to the perspective and let's see we have here these see these lights here it looks like lights but they doesn't produce any light so we can just render this here F10 and press render and as you can see I have given this sphere right here a light material so it looks more realistic and now let's get started so I'm gonna go to lights and choose photometric lights and now I'm gonna choose a target point and place it where this light is so let's go to the front view here and go from here just under it like this enough and go again to our perspective maybe our top view choose our light and our target and put them here so now we have it located in where we want so now if we render it like this let's see what happens so as you can see now the whole screen went white so what we need to do is select this light and okay and go here and let's see go to multiplier and make it something like maybe five percent and render again maybe this is still too much so I cancel it and make something like 0.5 and render again okay this started to look okay so as you can see here the light is very much and uh, not realistic at all so let's close this and from this we're gonna choose web instead of isotropic isotropic yes <laughs> so choose web and you'll notice that this here has changed so if we render this now see this is what we're gonna see okay so how can we get this nice lights here like what we see in the first image if you go down here on the web parameters you'll see that we have web file option so if we press on that we'll see that we can choose any IES 
extension so let's go here and I have some IS here on my hard drive so I'll choose this one it's good press open and you will notice that this changed and maybe you can put this down a little bit like this and start to render again and let's see how it works as you can see now it started to take the shape of these lights here but still too much so I'm gonna choose the light where is light okay and decrease the multiplier again to point 0.1 maybe and go to our camera view and press F9 again and see so now it started to look good you can see this glow here and the lights over here and on the ceiling on this orange area as well so now we can move it or anything we want I think we can it's not necessary to put it on the same area that this light is so you can just move it like this maybe something like this go up and start to copy it here here and we can decrease multiplier again because we put too many lights Let's see maybe three and take this as a copy and paste it to this one and to this one So basically this is how it works with putting lights on these areas here and in indoor scenes or anything you want. So uh, as you can see it puts nice touch on our image. So you can download it from any website as you can see here we have some mini free I think this one looks good some many free IS on the websites actually I don't know this website I just found this image on Google so you can download them and also you can download this file and final and the start file from our website to be able to see how this works also don't forget to check GFX today for more tutorials on 3D Studio Max and Photoshop like this you can go to tutorials here and you can see there's 3D Max and Photoshop and you can find some nice tutorials here and there are two part 1 and part 2 basic training for 3D Studio Max so be sure to check this out so thank you for watching and hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I am Apanov and this is gfx2day.com Thank you.